welcome back to my channel so today we're gonna be trying makeup products things that i have not tried or things that i've just gotten for review so that i can review now it's gonna be pretty much like a full face of things that i haven't really used before so let's just jump right in so i'm gonna moisturize with this cream from bare minerals that i got from buzz agent to try it's a full size and this is the ageless phyto retinol face cream so what it says is natural retinol alternative from the picao preto plant tested to be as effective as retinol without causing redness dryness or sensitivity so it smells nice i like it you guys know that i'm like super in love with the it cosmetics cream like that's my daily moisturizer i think i got too much <laughs> but yes i'm open to trying other ones it feels very very hydrating nice it's a thick cream so i like that that now i am going to go into brows so i got this new brow pencil from my american influencer beauty bundle with bella pierre cosmetics and this is the twist up brow pencil in coco so we're gonna try that here and see if i like it on one side you just have like your regular this is this one is pretty thin you just have like your regular really really thin pencil and then on the other side you have this spoolie all right so i kind of like to comb them a little bit you guys already know that i don't really do anything crazy to my brows because i mean I don't feel the need to. So I did comb them a little bit with a spoolie and let's see. My God, this like scratches my brow. Wow. Let's see if it's just because, you know, it's new and stuff. But for me, this is a little bit too thin for my liking because my brows are thick and I don't want to be filling my brows all day. You know what I mean? Like the little pencil part is way too thin for my liking. Okay, so that's what it looks like. I mean, it's fine. It's just your regular brow product, but... All right, so that's what the brows are looking like, which is fine. Um, it's not my favorite brush, though. Like, this isn't something that wows me. I think the little tip is too thin, and um, it scratches a little bit in the beginning. But, I mean, it's okay to use if you have nothing else why not all right so now i'm gonna go into the eyes so i kind of just want to go in i think i'm gonna go in with this one that i just looked at right now um it's like literally the first one in my in my drawer so this is the Too faced shake your pom-poms i don't know if you guys remember this was on my sephora fantasy basket and i did get it it's the cutest little palette Too faced you already know how their packaging is and it's super cute. I actually really, really like it. When with this kind of like little fluffy one, these are the new Glamier ones that came in BoxyCharm. So I'm going to use this one and let's see. All right, so I'm going to go in first. I'm going to use the little mirror in the palette, I guess. Um, this is so cute for travel. And I think it's like, I think it's perfect because it's just like, I don't know like I think it's just perfect for travel like you can have all types of makeup looks with this it's very pretty okay so we're gonna go in with this color here um and I think it's called get laid over 
All right, so we're gonna do that one first and we're just gonna go like, I guess, as a transition color. This, like neutral brownish, but like very light color. So I'm just like putting it all over the crease. A little higher for my hooded eyes, you guys know. I like that. What do you guys think? That's nice. I'm gonna color switch, hold on. Let's go with this one. Let's go with this one here. And let's kind of like also pack that into the crease. A nice little like shimmery pop, I guess. Yeah, I like that. So we've got that transition. We've got this one right on top. So it gives it like this nice little shimmery pop. Because the other one is a matte shade. This one's like a little shimmery shade. You guys know I'm just like experimenting because I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. But this is fun. So you guys know. Okay, so that's that for that one. That's pretty, I like that. I'm liking this so far. I'm gonna go in with this other one here. These don't have like names, but this one's a little more like, what is it called, tapered, I guess. Um, I wanna put that pink in there, of course. So I'm gonna go with the pink like all over the lid and I'm gonna try to take it a little bit up just so you can kind of see it peeking through maybe. <music> color like it I'm definitely gonna put that pop of green in there somewhere like that's for sure this looks like a sunrise type of color like a sunrise type of look <laughs> and I want to go back in with this brush because I do want to do this dark chocolate one which is called let's bounce um, like in the outer corner. I like those dark in the outer corner. I like that. Yeah, that gives it a little something, right? I think I did a little something there. I don't really know. I'm hoping. So now I want to take that green I don't know if I blended good or not, but I wanna take that green right here. It's called, I'm out of here. I wanna like grab it with my finger and like pop it right in the middle. I don't know, I like that. Do you guys see what I'm doing there? I like that. I like that. I don't know if it's showing up as nice on camera as it's looking to me here. And even with the finger, this one's a little hard to work with. Like it looks super pigmented there, like really pretty. And even when you swatch it, look at that. But it's hard to work with. Like, let me grab a, I'm gonna grab this like real small brush and try to like pack it a little bit. This is like a, like an eyeliner brush or something but I kind of want to pack it like in the center really nicely. Bring the pink back, I guess. I think I'm just making like a huge mess here. I don't know, it, like it looks cute here in my mirror. Like the look looks really cute in my mirror, but at the same time, it looks kind of crazy. And then I'm gonna do the outer corner again just to like because I feel like that got lost a little bit there we go much better 
and then other side. What do you think, guys? I don't know. Like, I'm hoping it's looking cute to you guys too. Okay, I'm just gonna go in in the inner corner with this one right here. Let's just go do that. Okay, that gives it its little pop, you know. Overall, I am liking the palette. I'm just very disappointed in the green color because that was one that I would have liked to use more. If you use it all over the lid or in the crease or something like that, it looks better. But I don't know. I'm not too excited about it. But we shall move on now. All right, guys, so now we're going to move on to foundation. Um, I'm going to be using this I got from Buzz Agent. I'm going to be using the Nude Sticks uh, Tinted Cover Foundation. And they sent me the color Nude 5, and I'm really, really hoping it matches. This foundation actually retails for $36, so I'm super happy that they sent it for me to try i do like the pump the packaging to be honest with you the packaging feels a little cheap for 36 dollars, but that's okay it says this is a natural finish foundation formulated as an innovative korean skincare formula with tinted pigments that are buildable to even and brighten skin tone, natural actives to protect from environmental skin aging, moisturize the skin and improve overall texture. So it says it's water resistant for long wear and to improve skin hydration. It has a lavender oil, which calms your nerves, relax, reduce stress and reduces daily stress. And it has 18 natural extracts to improve the skin. So, I'm hoping, let's see if my foundation is going to calm me. <laughs> that sounds promising. Okay, so I'm just going to pump it onto my skin and then I'm just going to use my e.l.f. sponge, which I love to apply it. So right off the bat, this foundation is pretty liquidy. If I do this, it's going to start running. So it's pretty liquidy. The color seems like it would be a little too dark but we don't really know yet so i'm just going to start applying it so i'm going to grab it with my sponge and just go ham baby it does feel pretty liquidy on the skin too but one thing i like is that it feels really light weight which i guess happens with runny foundations because they're more like water-based okay so what i'm getting is this is light to medium coverage this is definitely not your full coverage foundation for sure it's definitely light to medium. It feels very lightweight, which is nice. I mean, you could see, you could still see like my skin and a couple of like imperfections and stuff like that, which is fine. It's not that big of a deal, you know? Okay, so, so far so good. I would really li like to do a wear test today. So right now it's 10 a.m. And I would like to check out to, I would like to check in with you guys tonight to like show you how it wore during the day. So we'll see how that goes. For concealer, I'm gonna go with the Bye Bye Under Eye Illumination from It Cosmetics. I have never used this. This is a little sample I got. I don't even remember where. Um, this isn't new. This is, it's, it's, it's been around, but I've never used it. So. I remember that their Bye Bye, like their regular concealer, I didn't really like it too much because I felt like it was too thick for me. So let's see this one. This is full coverage, anti-aging, waterproof concealer. So let's see. I'm going to apply that with my finger. So it comes out like that. This is in the shade medium. So I'm just going to go. Yeah, this is thick just like the other one. Oh my gosh. 
It's very thick and sticky. So let's see how this goes. Apparently, this might be too much, but we can work with it. All right, so I'm gonna take my e.l.f. and I'm gonna attempt <laughs> to blend this. Oh my God. First of all, the shade is like way light. How am I gonna fix this? It's like super light, Lord. And it's in medium. I love it cosmetics, but if there's one thing that I don't like is their concealer. Guys, pray for me. Pray for me because <laughs> this is uh, kind of crazy. Oh my God. I don't know how I'm gonna fix this afterwards. Okay guys, so this, <laughs> I can't handle this. So this is the look for the concealer. Like, yes, it brightens, definitely. Like it illuminates your under eye, but apparently I put too much and this is super, super thick. Like, I feel like I put too much. I don't know what it looks like on camera, but for me, I put way too much. Okay, so I'm gonna move on. I don't know if I should like try to set this. I don't know because I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know what to do. This is the one from Pretty Vulgar. I have not used this. It's a translucent powder. It brings like its little thingamajig. I don't think I've used it, I don't know. I'm gonna use its little powder thing that it brings, oh my God. I learned in my makeup class, like that's the way I do my makeup now. We do highlight first, then we do bronzer on top and then blush on top. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then we'll work from there. Okay, so the highlight that we're gonna go with is this one from Be Bella Cosmetics. I have no idea what this highlight is called. The packaging is really, really pretty, but there is like nothing, like no name, no nothing. Um, I realized it was a highlight because I swatched it, <laughs> but um, it's like a rose gold kind of highlight. It looks like a blush, but it actually is a highlight. Um, it has to be, or so I think. Is that a highlight? I'm gonna believe it's a highlight, and we're just gonna go with that. How about that? This is the e.l.f. highlighting brush, which I've never used, so I'm gonna go ahead with that. Oh, there it is oh whoa there it is <laughs> you guys see that oh that's pretty oh hold up start applying more on this side baby boo oh that's nice i like that look at that oh that's pretty i want to know what highlight this is honey what so that's the Be Bella Cosmetics. I don't know what highlight. Okay, so now we're gonna go in with the bronzer. So I'm gonna do the Gigi Gorgeous one. And let's go in with this brush. This is the Alomar Cosmetics Bronzer Brush. I think I'm just gonna go into this Bare Minerals blush. It's called Golden Gate. So thinking of doing the mascara in this video, but I feel like I should leave it for a Mascara Monday. So what I am gonna do is I'm gonna put the lippy and all of that stuff, and then at the end of the video, I will definitely show you my completed look with the mascara, but I'm gonna separate like the mascara try on. 
into a different video. I think that's what I'm gonna do. So this is the lippy I'm gonna go with today. This is from EVO Beauty and I got this like in a fashion stuff box if I'm not mistaken. It's like a lip gloss type of color, I guess. The color name is Lice. <laughs> lice, not lice like the one in your hair, like L-I-S-E, that's weird. What kind of name is that? Okay, so this is what it looks like. And hopefully this will be a very pretty color. This is a pretty lip gloss color. It's like a pretty like everyday lip gloss. It's very soft. I like it. Um, I think it goes well with my makeup look. What do you guys think of my under eyes? Like I think... Um, they got better a little bit. I'm gonna apply a setting spray and I've never used this one. This is the Smashbox Photo Finish Setting Spray and it says it's weightless. And I do like Smashbox, so I'm hoping. Okay, one thing I like is the mist. Love the mist. Feels nice. I like the mist. All right, guys. So this is the completed look of trying like new makeup products that I have not tried before. Either they're new or they've been in my collection and I haven't tried them. The mascara that I applied, you guys will definitely see this in a Mascara Monday. This is the NYX Voluptuous Lush and Define Mascara which I didn't apply in this video because I wanted to uh, do a Mascara Monday for you guys. So you will definitely see that. Let me know what you think of the look I accomplished. I actually like how the eyes turned out. Let me know what you guys think. Okay, guys, so it is now 3.15 and I'm just doing a little check-in with you guys. Um when i filmed the video it was like 10 in the morning and i was gonna do a little check-in with you guys so you guys can see kind of how the foundation is wearing i think it looks great so far um i mean we do know that this is a light to medium coverage they advertise it as a medium coverage but i feel like it's light to medium but so far it's looking okay around the nose area I don't know i don't know how i feel i kind of i'm starting to feel like it's getting maybe a little not oily but like like it needs a touch up around that area but other than that on the face i think it looks pretty good you guys let me know what you think so it's wearing pretty good for being a light to medium coverage foundation so far so I've had it on for about about five hours um, so I will check in with you guys again in another five hours which is probably gonna be when I'm gonna go take a shower Hi. and you know start getting ready to wind down and I will let you guys know how it looks at that moment but so far so good for an everyday foundation so Hey guys, so this is going to be my final check-in of the Nude Sticks Tinted Cover Foundation. I've literally been wearing this for almost 12 hours. It's 10 o'clock at night right now. And I think the foundation has held up really, really well. What I did notice looking here in the mirror is obviously like my T-zone is getting a little oily. I don't know if you guys can pick that up. I'm pretty sure you guys can see it. My T-zone is, is getting a little oily. And you know, around the nose and stuff like that is already, you can see that um, it really would need like a touch up. But other than that, around here, it, it pretty much looks really, really well. I think it still looks really well considering that I've been wearing this for almost 12 years hours so it definitely looks good i'm definitely liking it i'm super happy that buzz agent and nude stick sent it over for review because it's great and it's good for like your everyday foundation 
all right my loves let me know what you guys think i love you guys and i will see you in my next video bye my loves